Kungaloosh adventurers. Are you a crafty adventurer? Well, today I have something just for you, and it plays into your galaxy fantasies from far, far away. That's right, an adorable baby Yoda plushie that you can make. It's super simple, super easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. To make Baby Yoda, you're going to need a few things. First off, check out the link in the description below for your pattern pieces. You're going to need your body piece and your jacket pieces. Next, you're going to need some fleece or felt. I highly recommend fleece though. You're going to need about a half yard of a tan or brown and a half yard of a green. First thing we're going to do is we're going to trace our Yoda body. So get your green fabric and make sure that it is right sides together. What that means is that the fabric that you want showing when your project is finished is together on the inside. So you're going to be tracing on the back side of the fabric or the wrong side. Take your body piece and lay it out on your fabric. Make sure that there is some room all the way around the edges as you're going to trace around the pattern exactly but when we cut it we're going to cut it about a fourth inch away so that that creates our seam allowance. So now when we cut it, again, cut about a fourth inch away from where you just drew to create the seam allowance. After it's cut out, make two marks on the side of the leg so that you remember not to stitch there. You need that open. Once you've cut out your body pieces, you're going to want to pin them together. Fleece is a really easy fabric to work with, but sometimes it stretches or slips when you're in the machine. So pinning will hold everything in place where you want it to be. I suggest that you pin in the ears, the arms, the legs, and then through the middle of the body. This will keep everything in place. And just like that, your body is ready to go. Now let's cut out your jacket. Take your tan or brown fabric, whichever you've chosen, and actually place it right side up on your table. Make sure it's totally flat. Then you're going to roll the edges in towards each other, kind of like a set of doors. You'll have two rolled edges here, two folded edges. Now, we really only need one of your jacket halves to be folded. The other is just so that we don't waste fabric. I hate wasting fabric, so let's not. So you should have two halves of your jacket. You're gonna have a jacket front and a jacket back. Your jacket front is the one that you need two pieces of. So you can lay it wherever you want, even if it's on the fold and you can slice that open. You want two of these. You'll have three pieces in total. Your jacket back is what's really important. You want to make sure that this edge right here, the long edge, is on the fold because this needs to be one back piece. So mark that out. As you can see, I'm using a dotted line there because that's going to remain a raw edge and I don't want the marker to show once I cut it out. Another way to avoid that is to just cut slightly inside your marked lines. So now that we've cut this out, we want to pin this as well. We're really only going to be having seams on a few places on here, but it's really important to pin it so that it stays in the right place. I kind of put one pin in each direction of the seam that we're going to make. Ultimately, we're going to sew this triangle right here and this triangle right here and then the same on the opposite side. Okay, so we're ready to sew our baby Yoda and I've got tan thread loaded up here on my brother ST371HD. If you need help threading your machine or need some tips on how to do so, make sure to check out the other videos on this channel to get some help. And we're gonna start off right here by doing our top corner. At the upper edge, like near the rolled hem, I'm gonna do a hard pivot turn. So make sure that your needle is in the down position lift up your presser foot and rotate. Now you're ready to go for your other seam. Once you've clipped your edges, you now have that inner seam. Don't worry if your pieces don't line up exactly. It's okay, sometimes they shift. You can just cut that and make it line right up. Also, if you're having any trouble getting this to go through your machine, you might want to think about switching your needle to a jersey needle or a stretch needle. 
they accommodate for the stretch of the fleece material and don't hang up quite as much. Now we're going to do the other three seams the exact same way. Take your time with this piece. Get to know how your fleece and your machine are working together. We started here because it's one of the easiest pieces to stitch, being that it's all straight lines. This will help you prepare for making your body. And don't forget to backstitch. Time to switch that bobbin and thread. Okay, I've changed my thread. Just because you can't see it up here doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Maybe, maybe I have magic, magic thread. thread. No, I don't. I just have a cone thread. So it's down below and I spool it across up top. Now we're gonna move on to our body. So, remember those notches that we made on this leg? If you don't leave this open, you can't fill them full of stuffing. So it's really important that you leave a gap in your stitching. Okay, since we're all pinned, we are ready to go. You're now gonna sew on that line that you traced. That includes some curved lines around the feet and hands, as well as some hard pivots just like we did in the jacket. Don't forget to backstitch. This is probably the hardest part of this project, so don't be afraid to take your time. Follow that trace line that you made before and try not to pull on the fleece too much. Pulling may result in a kind of wavy puckering you don't want. Okay, so here we are, all stitched together, and we're going to turn our baby Yoda now. Now that's where I said, remember, leave this spot open so that you can turn him. If you didn't, you're out of luck. No, it's okay. You're just going to have to take your seam ripper and pop open a little space. Make sure that you go back through and backstitch around that open space. So this just takes a minute. You're going to stick your finger in and start by turning the legs. It's the easiest piece to do and it's right there at the bottom. Fleece is kind of a stretchy fabric, so it's very forgiving in terms of, you know, how much space you leave open and how much you can turn through it. So you don't need to leave a, a big gap in your stitches. Okay, here's our baby Yoda turned and ready to go. Set him down right in front of you. Next, we're going to put some eyes on Yoda. I have chosen to use some safety eyes. I got them on Amazon if you want to use the same things as me. Uh, check the link out below and you can get some too. Came in this box, which is great, this little organizer, and there's a ton of different eye options in here. But I have chosen to go with the brown eye options. If you've never seen a safety eye before, it's uh, what's, what makes it safe is that it goes on, this little peg goes through the fabric, and then this little stopper kind of goes on the bottom to lock it in place between the fabric. The reason why you have that is uh, for kids. You know, if kids put things in their mouth, it stops them from coming out of the fabric and makes them much safer. And they look pretty cool. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some regular pins and I'm just going to mark where I want my eyes to go. You can put them anywhere you want. On mine, um, you'll see on the pattern where I've placed them. They're a little bit lower because, you know, Yoda has that big forehead. And because I'm using these pearl pins, you can kind of get an idea of where those eyes are going to look, you know, where they're going to be. Makes it a little easier. Once you have your eye placement, you're going to take your snips and you're going to snip the fabric a very, very tiny snip, tiny snip, tiny snip, right next to the pin placement that you have made. That is where this post is going to go through the fabric. What you're going to want to do is once you've made your tiny snip, get your hand inside, poke that post through, and then you're going to take your stopper and get in there as well. It's going to go on the back and it will be tough to put on. Repeat the process for the second eye. You might want to use the pads of your fingers instead of the tippy tops and it's a little bit easier to put them on. So I've chosen to use safety eyes, but if you don't have them or don't want to get them, you don't need a whole box, you can find smaller packs. Or alternatively, you can use a permanent Sharpie. 
you're gonna wanna heat set that by either putting it in the dryer or pressing it. I would more suggest a fabric option if you don't have safety eyes or even embroidery floss if you know how to do some embroidery to put the eyes on your Yoda. The eyes are in and now we're really gonna start to bring our baby Yoda to life. We're gonna stuff it with some poly fiber fill. You can use any filling you wish. If you have recycled materials, great, go for it. I really like using the polyfiber fill because it's hypoallergenic. And we're gonna start by stuffing all the way up into the tips of these ears because it's the hardest place to get to. Once you have your ears stuffed and your face kind of stuffed, you're gonna wanna get into the arms and the legs by just using a little bit of fiber fill, pushing it out to the edges. Feel free to use as much or as little filling as you would like. It's your creation, so it doesn't matter if you like them extra squishy or if you like them a little bit more firm. Now that we're stuffed, we have two steps left and then we're done with this project. This might be one of the trickiest or more technical things in this video. We need to close this leg seam and then put his jacket on and that's it. So I'm gonna show you how to close this leg seam with an invisible ladder stitch. For this, you'll need a needle and thread. I like to thread my needle and then cut it off and so I have two long tails that I will knot together in a triple knot. You're gonna to wanna to go into the inside and pull straight through so that the knot you just tied is to the inside of your baby Yoda. Once you've done that, you're gonna go straight across and then up and pick up just a little bit of fabric. Pop it through that top on the same side and pull. Then you're gonna go across to the other side and do the exact same thing. And if you can imagine what that visual is creating, it's creating a ladder. You're gonna go straight across, pick up a little bit of fabric, probably no more than a quarter of an inch, and pull through. And once you pull tight on it, it creates an invisible line, merging those two pieces of fabric together and professionally finishing off your baby Yoda. Continue this stitch pulling tight every few stitches. Once you get to the end, you're gonna to wanna to go through the end and make a small little loop, which you're actually creating a knot here. Once you have that first knot, tie it off two more times to again make a triple knot. Once you have your knot completed, you're going to put that needle and thread back through the Yoda from where you just stitched to hide that knot more inside the leg. Once that's secure, you can snip it off and you're done. Baby Yoda is ready to go. We just gotta put his jacket on him. So now, take your jacket, the tall part goes up around the face. You might have to grab his arm, pull it through. And now, it kind of looks crazy, but all you have to do is dress it just a little bit. Pull your sides together, and you can either pull it up or roll this down. I think personally think it's kind of cute rolled down a little bit. And you can close this if you like however you want, what I like to do is I actually just took a scrap piece of felt, split it down the middle to kind of create this rustic belt, and I'm gonna tie it around as a closure. As I said before, I hate wasting fabric, so this is a good use of that little scrap. There it is, adventurers, your very own Baby Yoda plush that you can take to Galaxy's Edge and to other galaxies far beyond. If you like this video, please make sure to check out my new channel, Sewing with Stacy, for more fun sewing tutorials. If you're not a crafter or a sewer, but you really love this Baby Yoda, I'm gonna have a very limited amount of these up on our TMR Tours Etsy shop, and you can get the link to that right in the description below. So, if you had any questions, drop them in the comments below, I'm happy to answer. And if you want more vacation planning tips, or reviews of things from Walt Disney World and theme parks around the world, check out more videos from TMR Tours. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on another adventure. Kungaloosh.